Think back to those moments when you first laid eyes on the screen, your young mind captivated by the charismatic presence of Diane Cannon. Perhaps it was her striking beauty or the undeniable talent that left an indelible mark on your memory. The flicker of recognition, like a distant echo, brings with it a rush of nostalgia, a connection to a time when her name held a special place in your heart. Now, as we delve into the intriguing world of Diane Cannon, allow those memories to resurface, for we're about to uncover some fascinating and perhaps lesser known aspects of her life and career. From her early beginnings to her rise to stardom, there's a lot more to this remarkable woman than meets the eye. So, without further ado, let's unravel the random facts about Diane Cannon and gain a deeper understanding of the actress who has touched the hearts of many. The heart Diane Cannon, best known for her work in Hollywood, has a few interesting facts that add depth to her public image. While there wasn't substantial information available regarding her high school nickname being Frosty, there's something intriguing about her skill set. She learned how to drive a 13-gear 30-ton semi-trailer diesel truck for the comedy drama film Coast to Coast in 1980. This unexpected talent showcases her dedication to her craft and her willingness to take on diverse roles in the entertainment industry. It's not every day you hear about a Hollywood actress mastering the art of driving a massive truck for a film role. Diane Cannon's ability to adapt and commit to her roles is certainly commendable. And while she may not be the star player on the court, Diane Cannon is often spotted courtside at Los Angeles Lakers' home basketball games. Her presence at these games has become something of a tradition, and she is known for her unwavering support for the team. It's a testament to her love for the sport and her dedication to the Lakers. In summary, Diane Cannon's multifaceted talents extend beyond the silver screen. From learning to drive a massive truck for a movie role to her consistent presence, at Lakers games, she continues to surprise and entertain her fans with her versatility and passion. 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 Diane Cannon, widely recognized for her talent and presence in Hollywood, harbors a lesser-known distinction as the second most famous Los Angeles Lakers fan. Following the legendary Jack Nicholson, her passionate support for the Lakers has made her a familiar face courtside at games. But beyond her sports allegiance, here's a brief look at her journey. Cannon attended the University of Washington and Seattle, WA, though she did not graduate. Instead, she set her sights on a career in entertainment, which ultimately led her to become a prominent actress in the 1960s and 1970s. One intriguing anecdote from her career revolves around the iconic bedroom scene in the film Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice. Diane Cannon, along with her co-stars Elliot Good, Robert Culp, and Natalie Wood, found themselves nervously approaching the scene. Reportedly, Elliot Good sought solace in food, Robert Culp's words raced faster than ever, and Natalie Wood initially refused to leave her trailer. It's a testament to the challenges actors sometimes face when portraying intimate moments on screen. In summary, Diane Cannon's fame extends beyond her Hollywood career, making her a notable Lakers enthusiast. While she started her academic journey at the University of Washington, her true passion for entertainment propelled her to stardom. And, like many actors, she experienced her share of nerves during a memorable on-screen moment. This glimpse into Diane Cannon's life sheds light on her multifaceted career and the intriguing moments that shaped it. Stay tuned for more insights into the lives of your favorite stars. Favorite stars. Favorite star. Diane Cannon, a well-known actress, has an interesting backstory to her stage name. She got her stage name from producer Jerry Wald, who saw something explosive in her. She later adopted the spelling Diane after coming across a notice in Rome's celebrity news that used that spelling, and she liked it. She is also a proud grandmother to two grandchildren, Carrie Benjamin Grant, born on August 12, 2008, and Davia Adele Grant, born on November 23, 2011. These facts provide a glimpse into the personal life and early career of this Hollywood personality. Diane Cannon's unique stage name and her role as a grandmother add depth to her public image, showing that there's more to her than just her acting career. Acting career. Act Diane Cannon, a prominent figure in Hollywood, earned recognition and acclaim for her contributions to the film industry. In 1973, she was honored as the Female Star of the Year by the National Association of Theater Owners, a testament to her acting prowess and popularity among moviegoers. This acknowledgement highlighted her rising status as a leading lady in the entertainment world. 
Another intriguing facet of Cannon's career was her unconventional discovery in showbiz. She was famously discovered while having lunch on the Sunset Strip. This chance encounter set her on a path to stardom, showcasing that talent and charisma can be found in unexpected places. Cannon's personal life also bore interesting connections to her professional endeavors. Her second husband, Stanley Finberg, was a real estate mogul who played a significant role in the production of her movie The End of Innocence in 1990. This partnership between the actress and her real estate mogul spouse underscored the varied intersections of Hollywood and personal life. In summary, Diane Cannon's journey in the entertainment industry includes notable accolades, a unique discovery story, and intriguing connections between her personal life and career. These aspects contribute to her enduring legacy in Hollywood. Wood, wood, wood. Diane Cannon, a notable actress in Hollywood, has some intriguing facts in her life that shed light on her journey in the entertainment industry. In 1961, when she was already a seasoned television performer at the age of 24, Cary Grant first noticed her during a television series. Their relationship blossomed, and they began living together in 1963. This union marked a significant chapter in Diane Cannon's personal life, capturing the attention of many at the time. Early in her career, Diane Cannon contemplated getting a nose job. However, a doctor dissuaded her, telling her that she had a beautiful nose that required no alteration. This decision to embrace her natural features rather than succumbing to societal pressures is a testament to her self-confidence. In a noteworthy online poll on the website Third Age, Diane Cannon came in fourth place in the sexiest older actress category. She followed behind Sophia Loren, and margaret and Raquel Welch, showcasing her enduring appeal and recognition in the industry even as she aged gracefully. These facts offer a glimpse into Diane Cannon's life and career, showcasing her resilience, confidence, and enduring charm in the world of entertainment. Diane Cannon, the American actress known for her versatile career in film and television, has several intriguing aspects to her life. While we couldn't find substantial information about her being the older sister of jazz bassist Dave Friesen, we can shed light on another interesting fact. Diane Cannon shared a unique connection with legendary actor Cary Grant. She and Cary Grant's daughter, Jennifer Grant, were born prematurely, weighing only 4.5 pounds at birth. Jennifer arrived into the world seven months after Diane Cannon and Cary Grant's wedding, making their family story even more remarkable. Apart from this fact, Diane Cannon's talent and contribution to the entertainment industry did not go unnoticed. She was honored as the Female Star of the Year by the National Association of Theater Owners in 1973, recognizing her significant impact on the world of cinema. Additionally, the Hollywood Women's Press Club also acknowledged her achievements in 1979 further solidifying her place in Hollywood history. Diane Cannon's life and career continue to captivate audiences, making her a prominent figure in the world of entertainment. T -t -t Diane Cannon, best known for her acting career, has an interesting side as a committed Christian. She holds Bible study meetings twice a month on the CBS studio lot. This unusual commitment sets her apart from many Hollywood stars. Cannon's faith and dedication to Christianity have been a central part of her life. She openly shares her beliefs and conducts revival-style Bible study sessions for interested individuals. These meetings offer a unique spiritual outlet within the bustling entertainment industry. Her connection to the University of Washington in Seattle is also noteworthy. She attended the university, though she did not graduate. This fact adds depth to her background, showcasing her pursuit of education before her successful acting career. In summary, Diane Cannon's commitment to Christianity and her Bible study meetings on the CBS studio lot provide a fascinating glimpse into her personal life. While her brief stint at the University of Washington in Seattle highlights her academic pursuits, these aspects add layers to the well-known actress life beyond the silver screen. Diane Cannon, the American actress known for her remarkable career in Hollywood, has some intriguing facts associated with her life. While there isn't substantial information available about her high school nickname or her discovery on the Sunset Strip, one notable fact stands out. Diane Cannon's connection with legendary actor Cary Grant holds a unique story. She and Grant had a daughter, Jennifer Grant, who made a remarkable entrance into the world. 
Both Jennifer and Diane weighed only 4.5 pounds at birth, and Jennifer was born just seven months after Diane and Cary Grant's wedding. This fact highlights an unusual and touching aspect of Diane Cannon's personal life, showcasing the challenges and joys she experienced during that time. In conclusion, Diane Cannon's life is marked by her remarkable career in Hollywood and the unique circumstances surrounding the birth of her daughter, Jennifer Grant, with Cary Grant. While other anecdotes about her early life may remain less detailed, this fact provides a glimpse into the personal side of this talented actress, tad actress, tad actress, as we draw the curtains on this captivating journey through the life and work of Diane Cannon, I invite you to take a moment of reflection. Diane Cannon, a name that has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of entertainment, has undoubtedly touched each of us in unique ways. Her magnetic presence on the silver screen has been a source of inspiration for generations. From her early roles in classic films to her later, more nuanced performances, Diane Cannon's versatility and talent have illuminated cinema with a brilliance that few can match. Now, it's your turn to shine. I encourage you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about Diane Cannon's performances. What scenes or characters have left a lasting impression on your heart? How has her work impacted your perspective on storytelling and the art of acting? Your voice in this narrative is an essential part of celebrating her legacy. In the mosaic of cinematic history, Diane Cannon's contributions are a vibrant and irreplaceable piece. The emotions she has evoked, the stories she has woven, and the characters she has brought to life have enriched our lives in countless ways. As we come to the end of this reflection, I want to express my deep appreciation for your time and interest in commemorating Diane Cannon's remarkable career. Your engagement is a testament to the enduring power of art to connect us across time and space. Thank you for being a part of this tribute to a true luminary of the entertainment world.